In today's video, we will be going through American Horror Story. Rubberman is the eighth episode of the first season. Let's get started. In the beginning when Ben and Vivian shifted to the murder house, then Nora comes and sees her house and gets disappointed. Then there comes a man's voice. Who asks what will make you happy? So Nora says, baby. Then that man takes that rubber suit. We learn about when Vivian and Ben got intimate shortly thereafter Ghost in a black suit had intercourse with Vivian. That black suit guy was none other than Tate itself, because Tate thought that he too would be intimate with Vivian. And as soon as Vivian gives birth to a baby, he will give that baby to Nora's spirit. At present Marcy comes to visit Vivian. Here Vivian tells her that she has seen Nora in the house. But Marcy does not believe her and says that she will be Nora's granddaughter. But Vivian says Nora killed her whole family. Marcy tells Vivian that I have called Mr. Eskandarian a lot, but he is not answering the call. Maybe he too became a ghost, she said jokingly, but she does not know that he is really dead. In 2010, the relationship between Chad Warwick and Patrick was not going well, so Chad goes to the sex toy shop to save their relationship. And there he buys a black rubber suit, which brings some excitement to their relation. Chad goes to Patrick wearing that rubber suit, but he does not like it. There is a fight between them. Chad wants to adopt a baby. The reason for such behavior of Patrick is his unsettled bills, due to which his house will be taken away. And while leaving, Patrick also says that I like leather and not rubber. At present, Nora was crying in the room when Hayden comes there and informs her that Nora is dead and there are too many souls trapped in this house. Nora always misses her baby. So Hayden tells that Vivian is going to have twins. Nora wanted a child of Vivian. And the second child was about to snatch Hayden's soul. Because when Hayden was pregnant, Larry had killed her and Ben had buried her in the ground. The thing was that Vivian also had a child of a ghost in his body. That's why he was growing very fast. Hayden and Nora decide that together they will snatch Vivian's children. And that night, Hayden scares Vivian enough just to vent her anger. Back in 2010, when the angry rubber man drowns Chad in the apple bucket and turns around to find Patrick standing in a cowboy costume, then a scuffle breaks out between the two and Tate kills Patrick and brings him to the basement. Where Nora was also present, she asks Tate for her child. Tate says that this couple could not give a baby, so I killed them. Now Nora will get a baby from the new family that will come. Now Nora becomes very happy. Chad was still alive. That's why Tate was going to kill him. But Moira stops him and says that, you killed them with their own gun so that they seem to have committed suicide. At present, the next day Ben receives a complaint from Violet's school. That Violet hasn't come to school for two weeks. And Ben asks him its reason. But Violet says that she does not feel like going to that school. So Ben tells Violet to send her to the new school and she agrees. Vivian, on the other hand, experiences very strange things at home. And Moira explains to Vivian, you don't worry, everything will be fine. And the experience you are doing really exits at home. Moira also says that some evil spirit in the house is trying to kill you. So you leave the house immediately. So Vivian picks up Violet at night and packs the bags and decides to leave the house. And as soon as Vivian and Violet sit in the car, the spirits of Dallas and Fiona come into the car. Those who scare them both run away from back in the house out of fear. And then we see Hayden, who was standing at the door of the house. And she was not going to let Vivian leave the house because she and Nora wanted their child. The next day, Vivian tells Ben that she sees Dallas and Fiona in the house. But Ben feels that Vivian is saying this because of her pregnancy stress. Ben asks Violet about the previous night, but she denies the ghost story and pretends to be her mom. And Ben starts thinking of keeping Vivian in the hospital. That afternoon, Vivian calls Marcy to the house as soon as possible and asks to sell the house. And when Marcy goes to get water, Vivian secretly steals her gun, so that if she sees the spirits again at night, she can attack them and be able to protect herself and it happens at night. Vivian starts seeing spirits in the house and she also sees a spirit wearing a rubber suit who attacks her and she also shoots at him hearing the sound of bullets Ben who was still in the same house enters the room and Vivian thinks that the ghost in the black rubber suit man came there and she accidentally shoots at Ben itself but that bullet hits Ben's hand and he survives now Ben starts to think that Vivian is crazy and that's why he decides to shift Vivian to the hospital so that she remains safe there Meanwhile, Hayden comes to Vivian and says that we will take your children. Hearing this, Vivian starts acting crazy. Then Ben immediately gets Vivian shifted to the hospital the same night. Episode 8 ends here. If you like the explanation, please subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.